Hello, Flutter 1.9 has just released and with it, it has brought a lots of new features. In this tutorial, we are going to look at the three new material widgets that have been released with Flutter 1.9. Hello, welcome to React Bits. Together, we will learn to develop modern, robust and beautiful applications. Here, I have created a new demo project, new Flutter project. Let me just remove these comments and this demo page and create a new home page widget where we can test our widgets. Okay, first there is this toggle buttons widget. So let's try it. Toggle buttons. It takes in a number of children. Let's make it, let's give it icons. in another property is selected it's a list of boolean values that corresponds to this list so first button is selected let's say true second button is selected false third button is selected true and next is on pressed it gives I guess the index index of the pressed button okay so these two are selected this is highlighted and this one is not selected so for for us to be able to change the state let us first change this home page into convert this home page into stateful widget let me have to restart Now, let us create a initial list of bool. bool selected. Let me create a init state. Let's initialize is selected is equals to true, false, true as before. And here, let me use each selected instead of this. Okay. Great. Now, in this on press, let me set a state and so we need to change the state of the pressed button. So, what I can do is is selected index is equals to not each selected index so i'm toggling this see okay this kind of implement implementations allows us to select multiple toggle buttons okay so if we now want only one of the toggle buttons to be selected and initially let's make the first one selected so first one is selected second one is false and last one is false okay let me hot restart again and here what I need to do is for Bar i equals to zero i less than it selected dot length i plus plus right and if okay. 
so here what we do is if i equals equals index then it selected index is equals to true else it selected index is equals to false so only the button that is pressed is set to true and all other buttons are set to false so this ensures that only one of the button is selected at any time ah here i should be using this variable i instead of index so now whenever i select the next button only that button is selected and all other buttons are unselected so this is the toggle buttons next we have a selectable text widget so it allows users to select a text inside so let's see let's give it size box let's use selectable text here first parameter is the text can take any style like text widget okay let's just give it some styling let's also wrap it inside a padding just for making it better okay now if we try long pressing here so now we can select this text and we can copy and we can do bunch of stuff that android allows us to do with selectable text so this is the very simple widget next widget we have is the color filter widget so let's just show you by wrapping this whole column with a new widget that is color filter widget color filter widget and it takes in ah color filter widget it's not color filter it takes in color filter parameter that takes color filter let's use mode red blend mode is blend mode dot color let's see okay see how it does that maybe let's try another blend mode darken let's try another blend blend mode let's say hue see so uh, we can use this color filtered widgets to provide a color filter to any sets of widget thank you everyone for watching this tutorial these are the three new widgets that have been introduced in the flutter 1.9 in the material widgets